For this breakdown, I'm going to start by cutting out the wishbone. This will allow you to gain a few more ounces of breast meat. I use the tip of the bony knife to follow the U-shaped bone. This cut is very easy once you understand the bone structure. Unfortunately, I broke the wishbone as soon as I was cutting it. So, what I did was just fish out either side of the bone there. Next, I will cut the thighs off. If you look at the back of the chicken and spread the legs out, you can see dimples where the ball socket joint is. This is where I will press my thumbs and pull up with my fingers to pop that joint. After that, flip the bird over and I always start on the right side of the bird. I'll cut the skin between the thigh and open up that hip section. With the blade, I'll cut down the soft pelvic bone close to the tail and cut into the hip joint. From here, I hold the leg with my left hand and push the chicken away with my blade. This should, if done right, remove a very tender and flavorful muscle called the oyster. Then cut the remaining skin. Then I'll do the same thing on the left side, but I will flip the bird over so the mechanics will still work. Next, I'll cut the wing at the elbow and leave the drumette attached to the breast. Then cut the breast down the middle of the breastplate, which will be very easy at this point since the wishbone is removed. Just remove the tenderloin and put it aside for now. Now you have two whole legs, and if you want, you can cut it in the middle here where the fat line is to separate the drumstick from the thigh. Or bone out the thigh bone and leave the drumstick attached, which works perfectly for a classic French dish called coca vin. This style of bone-in chicken breast is known as an airline or statler chicken breast. It's great for pan searing and roasting, or as a stuffed chicken breast. You can insert your knife like this to make a nice pocket for any kinds of stuffing. Quick recap. Now we have the thighs, wings, tenderloin, carcass, and breast. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, smash the like button. If you really liked it, please subscribe. Matt the Butcher has left the building.